friends. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a card like this using the Sweet Pea Designer Paper and the Sweet Pea Stitched Felt. Um, there are a couple things about this card that I'm going to change. I think it's too tall here so there's not any room for me to do a greeting up at the top so I kind of changed this. My strips here were about one inch by three inches so my new strips are only two and a half inches tall. One of the things I love about Stampin' Up's Designer Series Paper is it gives you a color palette. So you can see right here in the catalog, it shows you what colors are used. It's chocolate chip, Sahara sand, old olive, taken with teal, pumpkin pie, so saffron, pretty in pink, and rose red. So I'm going to, on my new card, use the rose red as my base. I took a piece of Sahara sand, and I already cut my little rectangles. Now I'm just going to adhere them to my Sahara sand cardstock using a little bit of snail adhesive. All right, so I'm just going to glue these all along the bottom of my Sahara sand cardstock. <clears throat> I'm actually going to slide this over like that so that this last one fits on top. I'm going to use my Big Shot with the top note die. This is a favorite die of just about everybody that has a big shot. Cutting pad on top, cutting pad on the bottom, and run it through the machine. And there's our piece. That gives me a little bit more room up at the top there. Now I'm taking my rose red cardstock. I cut my 8.5 by 11 in half and then folded it in half. And I'm just going to slide the top part of this through because I just want the polka dots on the front. So embossing folder, pad on the top, pad on the bottom, and then you're going to use a multi-purpose platform on tab one. Ready to see some awesome polka dots? Woo -hoo! Woo! Look at that. All right, then I'm going to I'm going to use my chocolate chip ink pad and my sponge, and I wanted to add some chocolate sponging on top of here. So add a little more depth to my polka dots. And then I'm going to sponge around the sides. You get three of these sponges in a pack and then you just cut them into quarters and they'll last you a long time. Just add some fun. Actually this is one of my New Year's resolutions to use sponging more because it's a technique that I really like and I think it adds a cool effect to your card but I honestly don't use it very much. I'm going to use the well scripted stamp set. I'm always looking for birthday cards, so I'll make a birthday card. I've got my clear block. Just going to stamp that, and I love this because I can see where it's going. Perfect. And then I'm going to use my stamp and scrub. I'm just going to use my cleaner and conditioner on one side. This cleans and conditions your stamps because if you don't use the conditioner, it will your stamps will eventually crack, and we don't want that. And then rub gently on the wet side and dry it on the dry side. And voila, you have a clean stamp. Next, I'm going to adhere this to my card just by using some dimensionals. When you get to the end of your dimensional pack, do you use the edges? I love it because there's no waste. Actually, I forgot. Let's see. And I did, on this card, I did like that um, layered ribbon. I'm going to show you how I did that. I'm just going to put a little glue on the back. This is my chocolate chip taffeta ribbon. I'm going to glue it to the back here. And then I'm just going to add adhesive all the way down. Just adhere that and then I'm going to come back and fold it. And fold. So I'm just, as I adhere it, I'm just folding it back every once in a while to get the look that I want. Then I'm going to use my craft and paper scissors. It'll make sure there's some glue on the back here. I want to fold that under my top note. And then I'm going to come back and just add a little glue to secure those pieces down so they're not all flapping up. 
Then I want to add some of my stitched felt, and I'm going to do that with my glue dots. So just pick up some of the glue dots with your felt, and then you can adhere it right on your card. I'm going to add that on top. And I have all these other great pieces to play with. But here's my finished card in a jiffy. Thanks for watching, and be sure to check my website, katherinepuller.com. Thanks!